Hey, what's up guys? So today I want to show you guys how you can basically blur out or pixelate like uh, private info, like license plate numbers, passwords, email addresses on your video. And I'm going to show you this through a YouTube editor. And this is really, really cool guys, because even if you have a video already uploaded on YouTube, you can still go ahead and use this blurring feature and you can keep it on that same video so you don't lose views or anything. Uh, or what you can do is you can just upload a video privately, blur out what you want to blur, and then make it public as well. So this is really cool, and let me show you how to do this. And you can also make, um, you can blur out several different things at the same time as well, okay? So let's do this. Uh, first thing you want to do is go into your video manager, and then find the video where you want to add some blurring effects. Uh, let's see here. So I'm going to use this video here simply click on this down arrow and then go to enhancements and this is only a 13 second video here i made this video uh just for the purpose of this video uh here okay so here's the video and now what you want to do is you want to go to blurring effects and over here you, you can blur faces even if the face is like moving around the blur will follow the face but sometimes it's not like perfect you may have to like uh, go to custom blurring and put a little bit more blur in there just in case because there's like a split second where your face is not like um or a face is not completely blurred and a cool thing is too with blurring faces it can do like multiple different fa faces as they're like walking around and stuff too anyways this video is just uh doing custom blurring on just like personal info so i'm going to click on edit here so here's the, here's the video right here i'm just going to go ahead and put it on pause right here and we're at two seconds and let's just say for example purposes I have like this little area right here, notifications area that I want to blur out, starting at two seconds. So then what I can do is just, just make like a little rectangle here, just like this. And then I can move this around, doesn't matter. I can even, you know, enlarge it, decrease the size, just like that, okay? And, and you can see how much it's blurring. Uh, you can't increase or decrease the blurring. Like this is the default and this is all this YouTube editor gives you. But I mean, it's enough to hide out any information. So let's just say I want to cover out this little rectangle spot here, this notification here. And if I look down here, I can see that um, it only gives me a few seconds by default. But let's say I wanted to start it at two seconds, and then I wanted to end it. You can like increase the length. You can I can increase the length all the way into until the entire video. Or let's say, for example, I only show my like password for uh, from two seconds to like. Six, six seconds here. So if I just press play now. So it basically just blurs that out for between two to six seconds. And also what I can do is, let's say I'm over here at seven seconds now, and there's two things I want to blur out now. So let's say I want to blur out this like information down here, just like that. And let's say I want to blur out the time here as well, just like that. And then, okay, that's good. And then you can see I can, let me move this back over. Right there and let me just go ahead and blur these all the way to the uh, end of the video here so uh, give it a second here it's like buffering right now come on okay it's still working give it a second here now like i said too this is cool because um, even if you have existing videos already on YouTube, you can still make the blur and, it's, it's, and you, you don't have to make the option to make a new video. So again, like I said, you can keep all your views and all your likes on that same video. So anyways, okay, so it's done buffering here. Now I can go ahead and extend this one all the way to the very end as well. And now I have basically three spots at different times that it will start um, basically blurring. So let me just grab this. Let me put that right here. So let me go ahead and just play it for you really fast. You can see the blur on that one area. Then it's off and then bam, now I have two areas that are blurred. Okay, now let's do this. I'm gonna go ahead and click on done. Now, I mean, once you preview it, you can see that um, you know everything looks pretty good. I'll show you what the end result looks like at the end of the video in one second. But from here, you can do two things, okay? Or several things, okay? If you want to start back over, you simply click on revert to original, and then you can start the whole blurring process over again. Or you can save this, oops, you can save it as a new video, okay? If you click this though, um, you know, it says right here, delete your original video. 
you have the option of deleting like your original video, but you're probably watching this. You probably don't want to do this. What you probably want to do is just save it. Okay. So if I just save it, that video that I already upload, my original video is going to, that part is going to be blurred and whatever views and likes you have is going to stay there. So let me just click on save here. Okay. Let me click on, let me click that again. Click on save. And of course, it may take a while uh, in regards to um, the edits to be like processed and stuff like that. So let me go ahead and do this really fast and not show you what the uh, end result is. All right, click on save. And then let me go back into my device manager here and let's go back down to that video. And you can see right here, it says edit in process. So let's give this probably like, I don't know, probably like five minutes maybe. It's a 13 second video. Okay, so it's finally done process processing. It took it like five minutes, and I forgot to mention something else that's really cool as well. But let me just go ahead and uh, let me just click on this video, and I'll show you what it looks like first. Okay, so at like two seconds, there's the blur right here. One part it's going to go off, and then two more it's going to add it. Boom! Right there, right there, almost at the end of the video. Okay, so you can see right there where the other two parts are blurred right there as well. Now. Also, I wanted to do this too. Let me let me go back here, and I forgot to mention that another thing that's really cool is if I, let's say, I wanted to take away the blur, uh, I messed up somehow. You can basically revert it back to the original using the same thing again. So if I go back, if I click the down arrow, I go to enhancements, and I go back to blurring effects here. Let me put this on pause, and we can see that. The blurring, uh, custom blurring is already applied here. What we can do now, if we wanted to change something around, we can click on reconfigure. And then from here, we can go ahead and delete some of the blurs or just change it around. If you wanted to add some more blurring effects in there or if you wanted to move something else, uh, maybe it showed like a password for like a half a second and you wanted to make the blur a little bit longer or a little bit less and whatnot. Then of course you click on done and you just go ahead and click on save and it'll make that same video with that new um, edit in regards to your like blur. And that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys subscribe, that'd be awesome. Thanks guys, bye.